Hey friends, welcome to the Wandering Bard. It's moved. It has wandered. Um, if you're new to the show, this is the Subaltern Project Switch Twitch channel, and I am Jeremy Grave. We have switched. Um, so um, if you haven't already, please make sure to give us a follow and uh, make sure your notifications are turned on. And of course, share the show. I know I haven't played anything yet, but I think most everybody who's in the chat kind of knows what they're in for. So uh, please share. Um, that really helps out a whole lot. And I'm still trying to build some more followers. So let your friends know what's good about Monday night. Got some music for you. <laughs>
happy Monday, folks. So I don't know, um, I don't know what your week has been like, but it's been real interesting here. Um, Lori and I have moved to a new place, and we're mostly moved in at this point. Um, as of the end of the day Wednesday, we should be pretty much all the way moved in, which is kind of wild. It's maybe not uh, the best time to move in the middle of a uh, Ren Faire season, but there you have it. Um, it's a cool spot. Hopefully the acoustics in the new studio sound good. Um, I'm getting a thumbs up from the house elf. I mean, it sounds through, good through me. <laughs> well, she says it sounds good through the headphones, so that's usually a good sign. But um, let us know in the chat if it looks and sounds okay. Um, I know before we got started that Judith and um, who else? Oh, Vanessa. Vanessa. Ha happy birthday, happy Vanessa. Happy birthday. Everybody give Vanessa some love in the chat. And uh, Lindsay is here. Uh, it was nice to meet you over the weekend, Lindsay. Thanks for coming out to the Ren Fair and uh, hanging out with us during the quiet set, uh, Volgamut's quiet set at the chess gazebo. I don't know what our schedule is going to be like in the coming week, but um, if you haven't already, we're coming up pretty close to the end of the Pennsylvania Ren Fair. So... Um, buy your tickets now. The last weekends have both sold out. Um, Saturday was a sellout, despite the fact that we had like pretty steady rain from mid-afternoon until ultimate joust. Um, it was still a really cool day. The crowd was like really into it, and it was great to see um, such a hearty crowd that was like there for the Ren Fair. So um, yeah, do grab those tickets now um, because it looks like. Well, last weekend was all sold out um, for Saturday by Wednesday, I think. And I think Sunday was sold out, well, at least by cast meeting Saturday morning. So um, make sure you get there early when you come. Because if you wait until getting there right at the gate, um, you might be waiting about an hour in the queue just to park. So um, do prepare for that. But in spite of that, um, the crowds have been great. The entertainment has been doing really well. And the Halloween show is a blast. So um, if you're anywhere nearby, do come and, and check us out. But um, David says hello. Hey, David. Nice to see you. Barbara. Hey, Barbara. Yeah. So um, we're still waiting to hear about where we might be all going after Pennsylvania wraps. Um, no, no contracts have appeared yet. Um, so, um, keep your fingers crossed that we'll have some announcements along those lines soon. But for now, um, unless we've got anything pressing, I will press on with some more music.
So um, I have some good news. So the last two weeks I was posting and asking people for help with raising some money to help end world hunger, and y'all were great. Um, you helped me raise $155, which doesn't maybe seem like a lot to some of us, but that's going to feed a lot of people. And um, thanks for that. That's so rad to be able to do something tangible, however small. And um, I think that's great. So thanks so much for helping to support the Crop Walk. Um, I'm really happy that we got to partner up and raise some money for some people. And um, yeah, anyway. Um, Oh, hello, Mom and Dad. Hello, hello. So, yeah. Um, I forget what I was about to say. You know what? Everybody, uh, this is to you. Birthday drink. <laughs> That's right. Birthday drink for Vanessa. A fine glass of water. <laughs> yeah, Woo! the finest Mannheim vintage. <sighs> So um, another quick plug for um, Pennsylvania Ren Fair. So this week was really fun. There was a bunch of really cool stuff that happened. We started our Halloween show, which was a huge highlight. Um, I can't really give too much away, but the bad weather actually helped with the atmosphere of the plot shows. Um, you, can, you can go to the fair and not go to the plot shows and have a great time. Um, Aaron Bonk, Volgamut, Langer's Ball... Pride of Ireland, Duo of Wu. There's so many good shows that have nothing to do with like the cast plot. And you'll have a great day and a great time. But if you go to the cast stuff, there's some really fun stuff happening. And if you haven't, um, if you've already been, it's a whole new show. So like from top to bottom, it's completely different. So from Queen's Court out, it's a completely new thing, which is pretty great. So um if some of you come out for the whole weekend, like uh, Sarah Yanashevsky did this past weekend, which was another highlight, I didn't see her Saturday, but she walked right past me on Sunday, and it was nice to um, get to meet somebody in real life that I've only seen in the chat on live streams. So it was pretty rad seeing Sarah. Um, another thing that was really cool, there were a bunch of like toddlers that were just all about music this past Sunday. And like... Every single music show that I was in, there was like a really little kid in like the front row or that was just there because it was a small thing like the Volgamut Quiet Set or um, I do a solo show in the New Herb Garden, which is kind of near the Joust Field. Um, my show there is usually at 1230, but if it moves, um, well, message me if you know you're going to come and I'll make sure you know like where I'm going to be. But every single show, there was like a little kid that was just... They were all about it, and they were just having a really great time and smiling and laughing, and their parents were like, oh, this is great. The little one's, like, digging the music. Great. So that kind of made my day. Um, but, yeah, um, there's a ton of great stuff to do and see. We only have two weeks left, so if you're going to come and visit, if you're thinking about it, do it. It's going to be – it'll be a great time, and it'll be great to see you. And, um, yeah, um, anyway. Come to the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair. You'll have a blast. Um, also, 
Um, there's some pretty cool stuff coming up on the Volgamut uh, live show on Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to let Misha do like the real proper announcements about that, but um, make sure you turn in, tune in this Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, there's some pretty cool stuff coming up like real soon on that show that you're not going to want to miss. <coughs> and um, yeah, I guess that's kind of it. Um, I don't know, what was something cool that happened for you guys in the last week? Like, it doesn't have to be Ren Faire music-related. Um, I want to know. Oh, and um, I, I forgot to send a message to this effect, so I'll just do it now because I know you're watching. Um, Judith, thanks so much for your really kind message last week. It really means a lot to know that this show is helping you get through the pandemic and um, it's been such a, just such a bizarre time for so many of us. And it's really easy to feel isolated. And uh, one of the things that has really brought joy to me is reading your comments after the show, um, which I always do. Um, and it's just so cool to see how everybody is like supporting each other and you're making friends with each other. Um, I know this isn't just on this show. Like, it's cool to see a lot of these relationships across a bunch of different streams. But it's been rad seeing the way y'all have been connecting through this. Um, this isn't the most perfect medium in the world. But um, it is pretty great the way we've been able to connect all around the world. I mean, right now we've got people from Texas, Canada, and Australia that are all tuned in and you're all hanging out. And what a delight that is to witness. So um, thank you, Judith, in particular, and the rest of you in general. <clears throat> we got anything uh, coming up in the chat? OK. Yeah. Moving well, on. It's a little bit easier. <laughs>
You think so? Yeah. All right. All right. Hey, Misha says hi. Oh, hello, Misha. Nice of you to join us. Ah. Yeah, um... I'm really excited about um, some of the other stuff that's happening. So uh, next week, there should be, well, we will have new hardware. Um, thanks to your generous support, both um, tip-wise and on the Patreon page. And if you didn't know, um, I actually have a Patreon page, and it's got all kinds of great exclusives. There are uncut versions of the VODs that only go to patrons. There's some really cool demos and some exclusive EPs that were put together from some of the better of these live streams. So um, do check that out. But um, your generous support has made a new computer possible, which as much as it's important to have like good streaming hardware, like an excellent um, internet service. Um, it's really important to have a computer that can handle not only the video, but the sound software that I use to edit and, and making demos with. So thank you for that. Um, it's been a little bit weird because I have enough material for at least a full album and haven't been able to get into a studio to record it. So, um, Hopefully that's going to be happening within the next year. But, um, oh, house elves have a hand up. Uh, Misha said, the notification said that I was playing tonight. And I said, impossible. It's your day off. Right. <laughs> well, you know, that was one of the things that got missed. I didn't upgrade the notifications this week. So it didn't update. Sorry if anybody's disappointed because Michael's not playing. <laughs> ah. It happens. Judith has a question. Yes. Does the new tavern get as hot as the old one? And is there an ice cream parlor nearby? Okay, so. We got answers. We got answers. Yeah. The first one is, so far so good. But the high since I've been in here has only been about 60 Fahrenheit. So that's not really a great field test. I will say we have central air in the new place as well and it's on the second floor rather than on the third floor so i think we'll probably be a lot better um the day that i moved most everything in was friday and it was 85 fahrenheit that day and i had all the windows open so it didn't seem like it was that bad then so answer your first question i think we're better from a climate standpoint it's definitely bigger than the old space was um, in some really important ways. So it'll be easier to accommodate a bigger ensemble here. As for ice cream, yes. Um, we're actually fairly close to one place that's only a couple blocks away, like we could walk to that one that I've never been to. I have no idea if it's any good. So I think that alone is worth a field test. There's a decent one um, about 10 minutes away. And then there's a phenomenal one that's about 20 minutes away. The phenomenal one, just to give you an idea, there's usually a line out the door for this place, even when it's like below freezing. No, no. no really. <laughs> she thinks I'm kidding, but I've stood in that line. So um, they have some really crazy ice cream. Um, check it out. It's Fox Creamery in Lidditz, Pennsylvania. Um, if, they, yeah, if they post any of their flavors, some of them might seem strange, but it's definitely the kind good. of place to go and try. Um, if you know, when it's early summer, they do ube ice cream, which if you don't know, you need to know. It's amazing. It's like <laughs> kind of a sweet potato, but we it's like purple. Ice cream here. We really do. We um, like as vices go, it's fairly non-threatening to everything but one's waistline. So, yeah, we're really excited. Anyway, um, there's more music to be played. So, as the house elves are currently distracted, I will press on. Pastime with good company, I love and shall until I die. Grudge you will, but none deny. So God be pleased, thus live will I. For my past dance, I'm singing. Set a goodly sport for my God. 
Quand tu vas clore, on est tout, on est tout, on est tout, on est tout. Et on fait tes années, je bois en joue. Quand je bande vas clore, on est tout, on est tout, on est tout, on est tout. Et on fait tes années, je bois en joue. Chanteau et bouvant, à faible et bande dans la guerre. Chanteau et bouvant, mes amis, bouvant. Chanteau et bouvant, à faible et bande dans la guerre. And that was Pastimes with Good Company by King Henry VIII and Conge Bois, which is set to, uh, well, my favorite tordion. So there we are. Two great tastes that go great together. Ah. Well, friends. The good news is, the good news is, <laughs> I've had fun hanging out with you all this evening. The bad news is I have but one song with which to share with you. So, for those of you who don't know, I'm Jeremy Graef, and this is the Subaltern Project Twitch channel. I am on every Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Sometimes, oftentimes, I have special guests these days. So, hopefully we'll have a few extra special guests in the coming weeks. Hopefully we'll have some really exciting new announcements, but for now, a song.
friends. Thanks so much for hanging out with me on Monday night or Tuesday morning if you're Judith. Um, thanks so much for hanging out. It's always great to hang out with you all. Love you all. See you next Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern.